This is the Sunrock 20 MPPT solar charge controller from Batteria Power. Comes with the charge controller, mounting screws, user manual, quick start guide, Bluetooth app information, both Android and iOS. The connectors are SAE type connectors, an input and an output. SAE connectors on the input and the output. They added connections for the solar and the battery side, as well as an reverse polarity adapter. If by any chance your polarity is reversed in your solar panels, you can just hook it up and it will be reversed. Smart. It seems like a small, handy little thing. You can charge 12 volt or 24 volt. Max PV voltage for 12 volt is 30 volts. For 24 volts, it's 60 volts. Battery types are gel, AGM, and lithium ion phosphate. We are going to test it on a 12 volt battery. Now, for 12 volt, maximum solar. Input is 300 watts and max voltage is 30 volts. So I put some charging cables on the watt cycle 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Connected it to the connector and we will run a test using the power supply as a solar panel. All right, so I connected the battery to the charge controller. I have to say, it's really intuitive. Battery voltage, degrees, both Fahrenheit and Celsius. Your error code, zero, 00 means no errors. And I selected uh, LFP, which is lithium ion phosphate, and 12 volts. All you need to do is hold the bottom down and start blink. Select your battery type. Long press again. 12 or 24. And there you go. It's showing 100%, but it's really not a 100% charge. I'm guessing when you connect the solar input side, it will start charging, and these indicators will start blinking. It's so small and so nice. Let's put a charge on it. Now, let's say our solar panel has a open circuit voltage of 22 volts. That's about five amps. Optimal conditions for a 100 watt panel, beyond optimal, um, getting about 90 to 100 watts coming in through the charge controller and the charge controller is putting at at the moment 13.4 at 6.8 amps which means it's adjusting the current and optimizing the charging which makes this a true MPPT. Let's start, try to put it at the maximum voltage and increase the current. So testing if it can handle the maximum 30 volts at about 5 amps, bringing in 150 watts, which is half of its maximum capacity. It's converting the 5 amps to 10.5 charging amps. 
It's a little warm, but not hot. I really like this thing. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now let's take a look at the app. So the app is called Charge Pro 2.0. As you can see, I've uh, connected it via Bluetooth and we get you our battery voltage, solar input voltage, our status, and the current voltage coming in and power coming in, our controller temperature, and running data, which is nice, real nice. You can see your settings and you can unlock your settings, change the parameters, 12, 24. You can select the battery type, even a user battery, which means you can do another chemistry battery. And change the parameters to make it work. All right, so then you got some statistics, running data, nice graph. Yeah, nice. So the Sunrock 20 from Battery Power is a fully functional little MPPT solar charge controller. I'm probably going to build a small system using this unit. This would be a great feature for any RV or small cabins, or camper vans, starter battery at your car. It's small and lightweight, easy to mount, nice product. I will leave uh, links in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself and I'll see you in the next one.